Um, to introduce myself, I've been a probation officer for 15 years. Okay, I've been working with drug and alcohol offenders. Uh, I've been working with women, okay, and women in their role in relationships, and men in their own relationships. So, what I, what I wanted to do was give people some insight of the type of relationships that you have, types you've been in, types you're in now, and types you may want to have in the future, or if a relationship is good for you. And maybe we'll tack on how do we attract the other type, the other the opposite sex, that have good intentions. How do you read between the lines? Because people do a lot of talking. People say some things. <coughs> until you go behind the scenes, you go, oh, okay. I didn't see that one coming. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. And also, I have done, I work with children, all right, and I've worked with um, abused women. Okay, and I actually I had a couple of yesterday, and she was abused, and you could just see how she shut down. And what I what I needed to do and try to get her to understand was how to open up. But because and that takes a process, okay. But the relationship she was in was very interesting. She was abused. Guess who she picked as her mate? Does that make sense? An abuser. Why? Familiarity. I know this, all right. So this is what I did to her. I said, let me hold your hand. So I held her hand, and she started doing, okay, what does this mean to you? It's uncomfortable because there isn't anything going on. It's just two people holding each other's hand. So I asked her, if you and I went on a date, and we went to a movie, and we were very kind to each other, I was kind to you, how would you react? How would you, or what would you believe would happen eventually? All right. Would you be uncomfortable? Would you wonder when the other shoe was going to fall off? Would you be anticipating the worst? And I told him, listen, I don't like drama. So in my world, I don't do the drama. So if you were with me, there, would be, there, were, there wouldn't be any drama. Therefore, you would probably create it, wouldn't you? And she goes, yeah, yeah, that's right, I would create it. Because I'm not used to this kindness. I'm not used to people you know, showing affection towards me. I'm not used to people saying wonderful things to me. Positive affirmation. I don't know what that's like. So what I'm going to do is sabotage the relationship to make it make sense to me. Okay? So when she got that, she said, wow, that's what I do. That's exactly what I do. I say, I need to get you to see why you do it. Where it comes from, so we can take that monster, shrink it, so it doesn't run your show. And in this case, what I want to do with you guys and we're going to call you healthy individuals. Maybe you can pick up some little nuances you didn't know you had. And maybe those nuances will give you, give you some indication as to why you pick what you pick. Or why don't you get along or whatever the case may be. But hopefully it will give you some tools in your box. So when you're out there, you're going to go. You can see the, you can see the situation five steps before it hits you. That's what I want. And just a little more clarity with who you are. Some of the behaviors you may have that you don't see, but now you see it. Oh, that's why I do that. Oh, when that person says that thing. That sets me off because I remember someone said that to me back in the day. Ah, I get that. Okay? So what I decided to do is relationships. What, what are relationships? What do they mean? Well, there are several relationships right here. Types of relationships. People have been in, are in, will be in. Okay? So I want to know. And by the way, this is, you can raise your hand and have a question or anything. This is back and forth, so don't be afraid. This is the HIPAA thing going on where all the whatever happens here stays. Okay, if you want to share something, please, you'll be more than welcome, okay? So I decided to write down some relationships, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over a little bit of each one and get some clarity on how they work, who's in them, and here's my thing. Have you been in one of those? Do you identify with them? Okay? So then you can take it back home and go, hmm, I remember that time back in the day. What did you learn from it? It's just something you grew on. Are you taking it to the, are you taking it to your present relationships? Or are you, there's one down here where we go, um, it's called an avoider. Are people, an avoider maybe you're by yourself. Now people will look at that two way, but we'll talk about that when we get there, okay? But one of the,